All right, what's up, guys? This is Mako with my guest speaker. Oh, I'm cutting you off. Oh, okay. How rude. This is Sive. For those of you who don't know, very talented artist. Thank you very much. Um, we're going to be starting a new series. We don't know what the heck we're going to call it at this point. Probably call it Sive and Mako have a party over <laughs> Skype. Some plain, old, plain and random that... uh. Yeah, something that'll just keep you guys attentive, and so we just wanted to do something different from what the community is doing as a whole. So just, we figured for the first episode, we just introduce ourselves, let you guys know our backgrounds, and then later on, we'll get into more in-depth topics that you guys can even pick for yourselves. You know, if you want to comment a topic you want us to talk about, we're down for that. And now uh, this video is going to be on both our channels, and our links will be below. So uh, come check each other out if you haven't already subscribed to both of us. As I know, you know, you'll get a lot of traffic this way, Mako. And uh, yeah, well, I think well that's, cool. that's that's not what I intended, but I mean, <laughs> well, obviously, I mean, yeah, that's You're cool too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <laughs> uh, but um, let's see. I don't know. Do you want to go first and talk about your background? Um. I suppose, as I've probably been in it longer than you. Yeah, so, well, yeah. I mean, uh, I started Graph two and a half years ago, just about, and uh, as you could guess, I probably started with stickers. Um, I really just got into it through uh, snowboarding, and I wanted to make some uh, stickers of a brand that I couldn't find on anywhere, and I couldn't get them, so I Googled around, figured out how to print my own stickers, and then happened upon quite a few videos that the beginnings of uh, what the sticker community is today and whatever. And, uh, you know, a lot of people weren't into it. There was probably 10 or 12 videos that are still around or whatever, but they were mainly just characters of just some live, live drawing or whatever. And uh, I got hooked, ordered my first 500 USPS, and uh, since have made probably close to, I don't even know how many stickers since then. A lot in my uh, two years, which is short in graffiti terms, but longer than a lot of you guys probably. So you're you're like a medium vet. You're not yeah. Gra- you're, not like, you're, you're not like 10 years old. No. So I, I, I hopped in at 15, 14, 15, and, you know, it was a, it's a little bit late compared to, like, some of the, you know, like, huge guys out there that had talked about getting into it when they're, like, 10 years old or whatever. Right. But, you know... I hopped in probably at the turning point of the internet scene just because it was the start of all these video making and whatever, and right, you know, right. it's built up to what it is today, and I hope that it gets better because there's some flaws in our ways, I guess. Just stuff that introduces you to the community. Yeah, yeah that's definitely me. I guess... Um. If you're done. Yeah, go yeah. ahead. Um, I got introduced to graffiti about three years ago, but I haven't. I never actually started until about a year and a half ago. Um, first video I saw was Dirty Hands, and that's an amazing movie. <laughs> Love mm. that graffiti movie. Yeah. But I was, as uh, my best friend's older brother was doing it, and I didn't really see the point in it at that time. But then, like, later, as, like, YouTube became a phenomenon and all that, and watching more and more videos of it over the years, my interest grew into it. And since I was growing an interest in art, I started graffiti. And I didn't actually start out with stickers. I only started stickers this year, like, in January. So stickers is a completely new territory for me. But mm-hmm. drawing as a whole has been around for a while. And then, I don't know, it's just, it's relaxing. I guess, which is the main thing that I, I draw to it is it's it's easy to express yourself. You get your own style. You destroy the alphabet however you want. <laughs> I meant to kind of talk about that because I, you know, like I have some family background in art or whatever, and um, I just I was never really into it as much as like some family members or whatever. But it was always kind of there. And then as soon as I hit graffiti, it just clicked for some reason. And it yeah. Was, it just it's, it's just like that random stuff that just yeah. happens, you know. Like you get you you got you're around people who do it, and it doesn't like make sense to you, and then yeah. there's that one thing that just clicks. Yep. So it's definitely, 
I don't know, regular art, contemporary art and all that is not a big fan for me, but straight okay. art is all the way my life now. Yeah, I know I I take an art class or whatever and it exposed myself to that stuff just because, you know, you can kind of incorporate the learning behind it and whatever into graffiti, but it's just so different that, you know, it you do have to put a lot more time into it if you want to have the same results in your skill or whatever, so... You know, I find it's so much harder to even do a character than straight up letters just because yeah. with a character, you don't have anything to base it off of. You're coming up with this soul image or whatever by yourself. All right. And for me, it's like the opposite way. Like I can come up with like characters like easy. You know, I get an idea in my head or I get inspired by seeing someone else, what they did, how they messed, messed with something. And I see, oh, that's cool. But what if I took my own way and did it like this? You know, it's cool to see it like that. But with, like, letters, it's, like, a whole different turf for me. That's just yeah. something that I'm constantly working on that you have to constantly work on when you're in graffiti. Yeah. I feel it's almost when people try to limit themselves to one specific way or one, like, style or whatever, it's so hard to then get out of that rut. Like. Right. I know myself, I might dabble with characters or whatever, but I'm more of a letter artist than, you know, I know that. But that doesn't mean I'm not going to touch drawings that are more realistic or drawings that are more cartoony or whatever just because it's out of my comfort zone. Right. And it's like, that, that's like, I like bubble style and all that because it's like simple, it's cool, I like the flow of the letters, but it's also, I like to get complicated with my letters, throw in a whole lot of hookups, mess it up, make it like barely legible. Yeah. But, I don't, but I don't like it when, like, people go overboard and can't even, like, it's just yeah. way too much going on at one spot. Yeah. That's a little confusing. But, I mean, other uh, than that, graffiti is pretty awesome, all in all. It, it comes down to people's, like, interpretation or whatever and how they want to do graffiti themselves and yeah, yep. it, it's it's. I hate the fact that it's related to all the vandalism and all that, because mm. there's so much more to the community than just that. I mean, it's impossible to fight that it's not vandalism when you're vandalizing someone's property. Right. But I solely agree that it is art, but you know, if done in the prop way or whatever, yeah. it's it, you I mean, can make it work. It, it like for me, it's like STG. They're cool. Everybody looks up to them. I look up to them. I love them. Yeah. But, I mean, you ask them, you do realize you're vandalizing, so they, I guarantee you every single one of them will say, yeah, but it's what we do. It's That's how it's, they do it. That's how they've yeah, always it, done it. I mean, that's just the way that they go out and express their art and show yeah. people their art, whereas, like, I do it in black books and stuff, and I just yeah. show people and post pictures and all that. And, I mean, I don't have the can control to do what they would do. <laughs> Otherwise, I would probably be doing it, but... Yeah, I mean, practice, it comes down, everything really comes down to practice, like... Yeah, and I mean, for those of the people that are new, that follow Sive and are starting to follow me, um, I have, like, I asked Q one day, like, just tips that he had, and it's just in there in the About Me section on my channel, just, uh -huh. like, this huge amount of tips that he has for new writers and people uh -huh. coming into the game, and... I should definitely check that out. I actually hadn't seen that on your channel. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty extensive. It's like, I don't even know. It's, it's a long list. I mean, I can have as much suggestions or whatever to you guys and whatever, but it all comes down to if you're gonna accept those kind of suggestions and whatever and grow as an artist that way. You have, you have. To, that's the one thing though. Is that's why when I was talking in my video that I posted last night, I didn't want to give away what we were talking about at your live stream because I think if. If someone doesn't isn't willing to put themselves forward to get the information, they don't deserve it to hear from someone who was who's willing to put themselves in that place. Yeah, and you know I feel comfortable talking about this just because you guys are like so supportive of my channel and whatever and the things I do. You know I really don't have to worry about people getting mad about what videos I make because you guys like all the videos I make in general. Right. And I mean, for me, it's just, it's learning. Like, you don't like a video, fine, I'll take it off and I'll make a new one that you guys do like. Mm -hmm. That's why I ask, like, what do you guys want to see from me? What makes everybody else, why you yeah. guys follow so many other people better than you follow me? Like, how can I step up to their level? What what do, what do they have that you don't kind of think? Yeah, like. And like, that even can go back to, like, the art and, like, what does their style have that you're doesn't? Like, is it catchy? Is it original? Like, what do you need to do to change your, or get better to appeal to even yourself which is really the the hardest like person to appeal to in theory 
right? And like, I'll I'll subscribe to everybody, like just out of support for the community. But yeah. if, uh, if I don't like y- your your stuff and what you're posting, I'm not gonna watch it. Yeah, I'll sit there as a subscriber, but I'm not gonna watch any of your videos. And you know, that's the hardest thing for me is because, you know, my main channel, Sive, is my personal channel as well. So everybody that I'm subscribed to on there is people who I really just want to watch their videos. So, you know, I can see your logic behind that and whatever, but right. I, I specifically want to just watch those videos and, you know, good work to whoever is, uh, can keep my attention or whatever. Right. And that's, that's the same thing I do with trading. Like if I don't like the, the work you're producing, well then I don't want it. Yeah. I mean, it's like, if if you're doing something that's you know like i don't care if you're a beginner if you're a veteran if whatever level you're at if i like the artwork you're making whether to other people it looks like shit or to me it looks good whatever i view it as is what i'll take yeah i i I try hard not to let other people's opinions really really affect what i'm doing right like it's like truthful and like i can see their logic behind telling somebody that they, their style's terrible or something. Yeah. I don't sit back and I don't say like, okay, well, you just called me horrible, but you don't have any videos. Well, I don't know what you're producing, so for yeah. all I know, you are better than me or you yeah. are worse than me. So I don't go on stuff like that. But if you have like logical proof, like Sive says, that can like make my artwork look like crap, then yeah, I'll take yeah. it. <laughs> if you can prove I suck as an artist, then and you know you. I try, like, if someone asks me to trade or whatever and uh, I don't want to or whatever or their, their, like, skill just isn't there for me, you know, and I feel I don't want to put my time into sending them something when I know they can improve even overnight changing some small little things, I'll tell them, all right, I don't want to trade right now, but, you know, hit me up if you want some direct advice. Like, legitimately send me a picture and I will critique it like it's hard out. Like, I will destroy whatever you've drawn and help you to grow right and i mean i hate to end this talk because obviously it's it's good yeah and i guess everybody else is gonna be pissed that this ends <laughs> but um yeah just check us out if you guys like this let us know give us feedback on what we could do better on like we've been talking about and just let us know what you want us to fix for these videos and if you want to see more of these videos. Yeah, even, uh, you know, I think we could even have some people send in their footage to put in the background or whatever just as kind of a filler as, yeah. you know, we, our discussion is the basis of this video. But, you know, if people want to send that stuff in, we can work something out. Or if you have even suggestions of things to put in the background or, or uh, topics to talk about. Yeah, topics that we can talk about and, you know, that you guys want to know our honest opinion about, we'll definitely – do that i don't see any problem with that right and i don't know how often we'll be doing this i'm guessing once me and sive go back into school it's not going to be as often as it is now but probably every other day if that's okay with him i Just, mean i'll do like, this as much as people like to see it yeah um, i mean it's up to you guys you guys let us know if you want to see this we'll yeah. post more but um yeah so just let us know on that it was great mm-hmm. talking to you sive yeah continue this conversation right. after this recording <laughs> but uh for youtube peace hope you enjoyed what you saw leave a comment rate it subscribe that's all i gotta say